G'day mate and welcome to the Friday FX 298. We've got the demo upgrade for stable and I've got Mojo here with me of course. Hey mate. Hello. So this has just come out like 40 minutes ago. Something um, like that. Yeah, you message me, I message you, bang, Friday Facts. Let's get it out on a Friday because it very rarely comes out on a Friday for us. Like, it does. It's almost Saturday right now. You've got um, an hour and 40 minutes till Saturday. Yeah, yeah. It, it's... Like, if it's out by, like, 9.30, there's a possibility we'll do a Friday fax. Otherwise, it's a Saturday fax. And oh, yeah. almost once we had to do a Sunday fax, because we just didn't have the time. Anyway, so... Maybe it's really long. We've got a demo upgrade. Now, the demo was always intended to be the the campaign, the new player experience. The NPE, yeah, which yeah. we got in 17. Well... 16? 17. I don't I, remember now. Yeah, something like that. I actually think... I don't know. Because the new player experience is, is probably more correct. Because I'm, I'm hoping there'll actually be a campaign for version 1. Like we used to see with the old RTSs. Where you actually have a... Play through a, a whole game as a campaign. Whereas really the new player experience is just like a real introduction. Um, it is the new player experience. I'm perfectly as Yeah, it's its so, own standalone thing. Yeah. And uh, it was also the prototype for the campaign. Because uh, yeah. the, the old demo um, for the, was sort of meant to be a very loose new player experience. You know, it's sort of, or more of a tutorial, if anything. More, more of a tutorial. It, it took you through some of the base core concepts of the game and then, yeah, sort of left you hanging. It was... The old one was not very good. I played through the new one with 17 and it was... It was interesting. I made the same, same comment a lot of people did. That it was really, really hard at the end. And that was due to a bug slash oversight. Um, and they're still tweaking, tweaking it, which is great. Um, but one of the problems they've had... So, they've got loaders slash feeders slash consumers. So... Back in Friday Facts 284, um, we discussed a plan to promote new players to use belts in the actual new player experience. Um, they were using underground belts instead of loaders. And once they changed to loaders, players still built belts, but the effect was not as strong to hook a belt to a loader. And I don't understand why. I, I would really assume it would be stronger with a loader because it's got a big arrow on it and says, go that way. Um... Probably because it's not something that's in instantly recognisable in game in the same way. Like you got the tip of the belt graphic, but you, people may not necessarily know. Yeah, people are surprisingly inattentive. Yeah, I know. Pretty subtle. I, I, I know, I know. It, it's one of the things I, I've found when I'm playing, when I'm doing a new game with for a new let's try, I miss really semi obvious things um, because I've there's so much that's new at the same time. So I think. Maybe you're right. Maybe the the arrow should only take up like one tile, and the other tile be all belt. Um, but yeah, so an underground definitely makes sense. Um, and they were hoping that it would all be solved when the loaders receive new art. But um, the loaders introduced a new issue, which is a good example of contextual blindness. To loaders were simply uh, to me the loaders were simply a quest item, um, conveniently placed to sort of indicate to a player what to do um items go in and disappear to the player's imagination and players uh, the, those items are being transferred into the address and structure being the lovely red red assembly machines that so many people have modded actually into the base game because the red ones actually look really cool in my opinion it's funny because there's been a clone and mod for that for like ages yeah yeah but they're, now they're popping up in all sorts of different mods because the red ones they look cool i actually I'd like the grey one, then the red one, and then probably a blue one. The yellow one sort of fits, it feels a bit out of place. Anyway, um, and this breaks a fundamental rule that they decided back in Friday Facts 128 when loaders were being considered. The rule is the only way to move items between structures was using an inserter. So they're using loaders even though they've decided they're only going to use inserters and then they were going to update the graphics on the loaders, and now they're not. So, yeah. They're looking for a new solution, basically. Um, so now they're removing the concept of loaders from the new player experience. They need a new one-by-one -one consumer entity, which the players must use inserters to fill. Now, I remember doing the new player experience, and they just had an infinity box. 
which is... When I did it, it didn't have infinity boxes or anything like that. It just had inserters going into the red assemblers. Prior to the inserters going into the red assemblers, you had to put like 20 coal or something into a box. Maybe it was 20 stone. It was some amount of crap into some amount of... into a box. And it was just an infinity box. Yeah, it just had to have... When I did it, it just had to have it in your inventory. I, I remember a box a somewhere. Ago. Uh, it was a while ago. Um, I don't know. Videos are up on YouTube. By all means, comment. Go go watch my previous videos. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, and then again, I remember surrounding the, the con crap along with chests and having it and doing stupid things like that. Yeah, having it. What did it do? It, it, it exploded and killed you. Yes. 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 Um, so yeah, um, they're looking for a new one by one consumer entity, and my issue is an infinity box. It's. It really fits the whole concept. I don't know. That's that's my thought. Um, but they're releasing as experimental in this w this week. So if you want to add any last minute feedback, now's a great time to do it. As always, send them off the emails with the with the three screenshots that the the, the new player experience takes. Um, and yeah, you know, fill up their email box because I have no many no idea how many emails they received when the first. 17 new player experience came out because I know I, I did it and I sent off the emails and there were I want to say like 15 meg worth of photos or screenshots a lot of pictures yeah they were quite sizable I, I, I actually remember somewhere in the Friday Facts they mentioned how many emails they got and how much storage oh it took. yeah I think I remember that it was like several gigabytes worth of emails yeah <laughs> um, anyway we're on to co combat robots and tank changes so They've just done a couple of tweaks to both the combats and the tanks in this last week. It's it's already released. It came out 20 minutes or so before the Friday Facts. 30 minutes before the Friday Facts. Something like that. So now it's a few hours old now. Yeah, it's it's an hour old. Um, Which means we're halfway to the next release. Yeah, probably. Probably. The speed is good. I went to update to 45 and then I was reading the patch notes... No, I, I was. I went to update to forty five. I looked on the official Discord. Found out forty six was released. Updated to forty six. By the time Factorio had finished updating forty six, I looked again at the patch notes and then their Discord and found out the Friday facts were out. So it's it's that quick around here sometimes. Um, but the big change is tanks no longer take damage when hitting rocks. Yeah, which, which was a bit of an oversight considering the they don't take damage from trees since fifteen, I think. I want to say 16. I, I think I think it was now. one of the things they changed in 16 to make tanks more fun. Because yeah, that's the, it. 16. In, in 15, they hit the trees. They took a little bit of damage. It was just annoying. In 16, they just rolled through the trees, which was awesome. Um, I think there was a second round of combat changes, which is 16. The first round was 15. Yeah, but more importantly, such. they could hit a sheer cliff wall and take no damage whatsoever. But if you hit a little pebble... Bang, you take damage. Yeah, it'll so, take a huge chunk of damage. Yeah. Um, and, and, and the rock slows you down. The cliff stops you dead. Um, so yeah, you no longer take damage when hitting rocks. Still don't hit rocks when fighting biters because you slow down a lot. The biters eat you. You die. Um, I think the really... The upside, um, mm -hmm. if you hit a rock and the spitter spit at you, the tank is now a little bit more resistant to that spit on the ground. It is. It is. Um... And I, more resistant than great, yes, the, the spitters and the worm acid stacks. Um, but really, the thing I find with the tank is in, in 16, it was fun with a machine gun because it just did so much damage. In 17, it's not fun anymore. It's it's not even what I'd call a good combat item anymore. I don't argue it hasn't really ever, oh, maybe since 15, it hasn't really been a strong combat item because there's a very narrow window where it's actually usable from it's the point where you unlock it to the point where you start seeing largest you know the majority of the biters start becoming big biters it's, it's started to lose its effectiveness yeah it's like medium biters through to mid large biters so you, you got 50% yeah. mix of medium and large the, the tank's okay but anything beyond that the tank doesn't work anymore Whereas in 16... Even then, actually, like, as soon as you start seeding more... Like, when you see one or two big biters, it wasn't a, a big deal. But as soon as you started seeing, you know, two or more up against a tank, it started becoming a problem. 
Well, look, in 16, like, the tank was great. And even at Behemoth, as long as you put uranium ammo in it, green ammo for green biters, <laughs> it, it, it ran fine. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing with the tank. It's gone from being maybe maybe too powerful to back to... It, it, just don't bother. Just, just don't bother. Um, Is it back where it was in 12, then? Yeah, pretty much. 13 or 14, or to a lesser extent, 14. I don't know. Look, I, I, I've just had to clear out, like, like a whole zoomed out screen's worth of massive biter nests. And I tried nukes, and nukes work, but I'd have so many biters chasing after me, I'd have to run back and then nuke whole packs. Um, I end up just, like, driving the artillery train down, parking it in a, in a spiral, surrounded by lasers, and just carpet bomb the whole area. Um, it took, standard, standard procedure these days, really. Yeah, it, it really is. It, it, it took a lot longer because when I'm talking carpet bombing, I, I installed an artillery mod that literally you select A to B and it puts in shells every single square so every single thing in that area gets killed. Even biters running on the ground. Everything is dead. Um, great mod, but it turns out I shot like 30,000, 40,000 shells within an hour. Um, Funny how that... Um... Shooting every tile um, happens to be a lot of shells. Yeah, it does. It does. It's not quite every tile, but it's close. Um, so Even every second tile um, would more than do the job. It's still a lot of uh, shells. Yeah, it's 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 a lot of shells, and look, it, it did the job. It, it took longer, but less frustrations. You know, zero chance of deaths unless the butters flank me and take out the power to my lasers. But you know, don't let them flank you. Um, anyway, on to the Friday thing is, yep. The important thing is you're automating something. Yeah, I have. I have. I've automated driving the train out and going bombard everything and then go back and get more ammo. You know, all, I think it's 100 carriages at 100 shells each. Yeah, it takes a while to refill. It would. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've got Defender Robot Change. So, when 17 came out, they changed the recipe for the Defender Capsules to add flying robot frames, which means you need engines to make electric engines, which means you need lube from petroleum products, plus then you need batteries. steel and batteries and what's... Oh, green circuits to make robot frames. I'd argue that the steel and the green circuits isn't a big deal. It's no, the, they're, they're really not a big deal. It's, it's the electric engines... And, and the, the batteries. batteries to make the robot frames to make something that shoots AP ammo at biters. It and expires after three minutes. Oh, was it three minutes? I, th I or thought whatever it, it is. Uh, hang on. Is Factorio running? Mm, it's not loaded in the game. Okay. It's not long. It's I, I, I don't even think it's three minutes. I think it's a lot less than that. It's two minutes or three minutes. Yeah, it, it's not long. Um, and... Early, early on, you can only get like five or ten of them. So they're helpful, but not really very powerful. Um, so they had the intention of buff the combat robots to compensate, but it did not come to pass. And the biggest problem is you needed oil for them. By the time you have oil, you could have flamethrowers, way more effective. Possibly personal laser defense if you can power it, but they have done the changes, so maybe you could power it. And it's way more effective than defender cap uh, defender robots. Uh, you could have lasers and just build like you know large electric poles surrounded by lasers. Move forward, keep rinse and repeat. Uh, construction robots, way better spot to spend your your uh, robot frames. Um, yeah, so with the LDs, yeah, expire. It's also 45 seconds, which is actually a lot less than I thought. Remember it being. Yeah, no, I, it's it's the. Destroy capsules that last longer. A lot longer. Yeah, it's probably because generally nobody ever used Defender Captures. It always go for Destroy. Look, I, I tried in my 17 playthrough, because um, I always try to do all the, the... Every single item in Factorio during every you know new version and new playthrough. And they still sucked. <laughs> um... And, and that's the biggest issue with them. And they were just so expensive. And I had such better options at that point that they just, they weren't worth using. So they reverted the change. They don't need um, robot frames anymore, which makes them more viable. Um, also means they can be used earlier, use them to fight medium biters, which 
AP Ammo sort of does an alright job at medium biters. Big biters has yeah. no real hope. Um, yeah, your machine gun generally does the job anyway. Arguably, you'd be more effective taking out biter bases if you had them. At that well, level. the destroy the the distractor capsules. So the one step up. If you throw them above a spawner, they generally take out the spawner by themselves, and you can just run away. That's true. Yeah, you know, pro tip. Just just throw one of those out. All the biters will come follow you because the distractor capsules don't really distract. And Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Distractor capsules are not, don't distract biters. No, 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 no. They, they, if, they, if they're going to attack you, they're going to attack you. The, the, the distractor capsules do a good job of, I don't know, shooting them as you run away. Um, the biggest thing with distractor capsules, they don't move. So you can throw them above a spawner, run away, and they'll just sit there and take out the spawner and any worms they happen to reach or anything else. Yeah. So, um, the only other good news is they buff their damage from five to eight. Um, and against a four armor medium biter, it means they're doing four damage, which is not a lot. Yeah, this is really what the, the original problem with them was, is they don't really do much damage. They, they do take any research upgrades that you've got from like faster shooting speed more damage that sort of stuff so they it does stack with other research you've done but yeah they don't really do a lot of damage and with 10 of them following you which is the first two researches done which are fairly cheap um it's 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 not a lot and and yeah um it does here have here like clearly marked in red in other related combat changes Namely, the buff to follow account technologies means they might see more use. With all the military science upgrade, upgrades, defender capsules uh, can become quite powerful. I've already updated. I've checked the change logs. We've done the maths. That update's not in the game yet. Maybe when that update comes, it'll change things. But as of 1746, they're still crap. They're slightly better crap because of the plus three damage upgrade. But they're still crap. I think that's our official verdict, right? Uh, Destroyer, uh, I still consider usable. So, the, we've got the Defender, which is the crap one that shoots AP ammo. We've got the Distractor, which shoots, I think it's lasers, but doesn't follow you. Yeah, that's why it shoots lasers. And then we've got the Destroyer Capture, which shoots lightning. I'm going to go with lightning. And they beam. Yeah, laser beams, lightning, something. It shoots zappy zappies. Zappy. And they're quite yeah, good. It's the buzz beam, the, ba- yeah. the zappy beam. Yeah, they're... The continuous they're, beam. Yeah. No, is it continuous? Yeah, it's continuous. Okay. They're quite good. They're really, really, really good. They're better in mass. Um, and we were talking about this beforehand. Like, in 14, 14 the, 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 the combat... Meth- meth- methodology was have those in a combat shotgun. Uh, so 14 12. or 13? 12? 12. 12. Or, or, or before 13, because 13 or 14, it changed the meta to flamethrower because only oh, when okay. the flamethrower fire thing was changed. Okay, so flamethrower yeah. Flamethrower was actually usable. Yeah, flamethrower, flamethrower is 13 through to 14. 15 was. No, 15 must have been flamethrower as well. 15 S- was nukes. Did we get nukes in 15? Because that was when we got nuclear power. I thought that was a 16 change. I think 16 was the... Uh, uh, uranium no, ammo. Okay, okay. 15 was nukes, yeah. So yes. 15 was nukes. 13 and 14 were a flamethrower. 12 was the destroyer capsules with the combat shotgun. See, it's all the history. This is why you come watch our Friday Facts. It's the history. Yes. Um, the destroyer capsules... Look, dead set, 150 of them do a bunch of damage. If you really want to clean biters out and you want to do it in a hurry, spend your money, get your research upgrade all the way up to like 400 of these destroyer capsules. Hold down the spawn button so you can throw them out pretty much non-stop till you get 400 of them. Pro tip as well, if you hold the mouse right beside you, they actually throw faster. Like, I, I have no idea why. It's a Factorio thing. Um, compared to throwing them at max that range. makes no sense, because it has the same cooldown as grenades. Yes, but the cooldown starts from the moment they explode. Oh, yes. So if you so throw them the, right the beside you... The sooner you get them you, down, 
the yep. uh, the f- as soon as the cooldown starts. Yes. So oh yeah, you... and um, there used to be a limit, so you couldn't go beyond. I think it was 126. Uh, somewhere around. It used there. to be 135 before the infinite tech. Because you used uh, to run around with 135 all the time. Yeah, but you couldn't spawn. You couldn't spawn them faster than like. Once you reach was, that point, it, you were losing them at the same time you were adding them. Yeah, that that used to be like 300-ish, I want to say. And now it's about four. It's four something. Oh, yeah, it's, that's it's the actual than, robot. That's the robot number. I'm thinking of the actual tech. Uh, what do you mean the actual tech? The actual follower oh, robot. Oh, I, I have no idea. Um, divide by five. It, it's 400 and, 480 flying robots in the air is about the maximum you can have before they're dying fast so you can throw them. Yeah. So follow account, yeah, 100 and something. It's it's really expensive, bottom line. But if you get up to that like 300, 400 robots thing, um, power armor, couple of, couple of uh, nuclear, yeah, couple of reactors, one, maybe two shields, some batteries, all legs. And run through biter bases, this swarm of robots follows you right through the middle and clears a path. Um, best way to clean bodies. And just like lawnmower style. Go straight across, go down, straight back, down. Yep. They just clear everything. Um, and you always try and do it as fast as physically possible before you start losing them. Yeah, oh, look, I, I, I run out with like, you know, a stack of a thousand and just hold the mouse button down and just run through bases. Anyway, so um, they're still quite good. If you spend a lot of time and a lot of effort to get them, um, more versatile than artillery, safer than nukes, because you can't self-destroy a capsule yourself, but you can self-nuke. Um, just ask JD. He's done it like every single playthrough and multiple times every community map. I'm very good at doing it to myself too. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you're in the middle of base and you accidentally press the space bar because you're typing in chat. I've never done that. Uh, you don't play multiplayer nearly enough, do you? No, I always unequip the, the atomic bombs and the rocket launcher. <laughs> yes. See, you're smart. I changed the weapon and then at some stage I've pressed alt tab and missed the alt button or something and voila. Uh, accidents happen. Quick, tab, tab, space before it's too late. Yep, yep. Uh, and then last by the front effects, we've got beams at night. So in the past, which made as much sense as yep um the beams used to fade off to darkness as you shot into the dark now they don't yeah it's just a tweak small tweak to the composition layer i'm guessing yeah yeah and so instead of applying um the darkness to everything or the the lining to everything it's applied they moved um the laser beams up a lot above it yeah and that's the destroyer capsules. That's the defender capsules. And they do shoot. You can lasers. see the electric shooty shooty beam. Yeah, the electric shooty shooty beam. Do. Yeah. Um, and and look, it, it's a good change. The only thing I'm a little bit, I, I'd still really like to see is I'd like to see some sort of area effect around the biters from where the lasers are hitting. Just some sort of illumination. That uh, wouldn't go astray. You know, because biter, biter shells obviously have to have some sort of semi-reflective coating that shines some lasers and some electric zappy zappy on the ground. Just Factorio RTX confirmed then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just saying, just saying. Like, minor changes. Yeah, it, it's a good change. It just needs to that next step. And, and now, so much more. It's obvious that it doesn't have any sort of light on the ground because it's not fading off into the darkness. Um, so, yeah. In fact, I actually think the one on the right's maybe too bright. Funny enough, I never actually noticed it because normally by that stage of the game, you always have night vision. Yeah. So you, you wouldn't see it. Yeah, I've got night vision. I don't see it. Like Even our current the current community map, we're playing with a Wisps mod and a, a Darkness mod. So it's 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 really 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 pitch black at night, and and I'm talking like you're it, for the first time ever I've actually played Factorio like all the way zoomed in, so I had my little aura light and my flashlight because I couldn't see anything. It's like watching, to be honest with you, it's like watching 
Factorio on Twitch or YouTube where the darks are even darker than normal. That's how the gameplay was. And as soon as I got night vision, I, I have no idea whether it's day or night anymore. I don't care. Um, night vision is just that good. So, yeah. Um, it's one of those things I never noticed either. Um, maybe night vision is too OP. No, I take it back. It's, it's fine. No, because it does grayscale. It does do grayscale, but I, I don't know. I'm just used to the grayscale now that... I don't know. I, I don't I don't know whether it's day or night anymore at all. Unless I physically put down lights in the base. And I go, oh, look, the light's on. It must be nighttime. Um, yeah. Another great change. I, I, I'll give Woob that. And maybe when they do the follow robot count technologies change as well, it'll be... It'll, it'll make robots better again. And as make the, bots great again. Yeah, make bots great again. As for the belt thing in in, in the the um, new player experience, I got no suggestions apart from insert a infinity chest done. You know, I don't know. Not much more complicated than that. Anyway, anything else for this week's Friday facts? No, nope, that's it. I think we've covered everything to death. Yep, yeah, probably. Anyway, we're out for this week. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you the next week. Bye. Bye.